In this video, we're going to go over the next part of the data control language, which is granting privileges. So granting privileges allow us to give users access to certain pieces of the database. So the syntax for granting privileges is grant and then any privileges that we want to give on a specific database, such as the lecture database, your personal database, or a group database for a specific object, and that object could be a table, a view, a procedure, or function, etc., to a specific user. So the privileges that we can grant are all first, which includes all privileges that you can see on this slide, plus those in the notes pane, plus the ability for a user to grant those same privileges to another user. Create allows the user to create tables. Select, insert, update, and delete allow the user to interact with the data in any table. References allows the users to create foreign keys. Alter allows the user to change the structure of a table, and Drop allows the user to drop any objects from the database. So for example, if I was asked to give Billy Blue the privileges of select, insert, update, and delete on the order table in the lecture schema, I would say grant select, insert, update, delete on lecture.order to Billy Blue. Note the schema here, lecture, is only required if it is different than what is currently selected. So if I'm currently using the lecture schema, I don't need to provide lecture dot. I can just say on order instead. So over here in MySQL Workbench, I have established a connection using the credentials that we previously created for Billy Blue. And when I connect to the database, you can see here on the left side that there are no objects that this user has access to. So here we are back at my server. I'm logged in with my admins so that I can grant privileges. So I'm going to go ahead and run this query that should grant select, insert, update, delete on lecture.order to Billy Blue. And you can see that the privileges were successfully granted. Now, for your personal schema, you can grant privileges to other users in your class. However, you cannot grant any other privileges as you do not have the privileges to do so. So here we are back at MySQL Workbench. Since I've granted those privileges, let's go ahead and click the refresh icon. And we can see that the lecture schema has appeared. And if I dive down a little bit further, we see that we have access to the order table. And I can now run select, insert, update, or delete on the order table. So another privilege that we can grant is grant option, which allows the user to extend the privileges they receive to additional users. The change of the syntax from the previous slide is that we use with grant option after we say to user. So for example, if I wanted to grant all privileges to Billy Blue with the ability to pass those privileges to other users on the lecture schema, I'd say grant all, that gives all permissions, on lecture.star, that means all objects in the lecture schema, to Billy Blue, and then Billy Blue will then have the ability to grant those to others when I say with grant option. So here we are back at the server. I'm going to go ahead and run this query. It says that the privileges were successfully granted. And now if I come back to the MySQL Workbench and click this refresh icon, we see that all the lecture tables have been included. Billy Blue has access to all privileges associated with all objects in this database with the ability to also pass those privileges to anyone else. Now if you want to see the grants for a specific schema, you can say show grants for that schema. So for example, I could say show grants for demo student. And we can see what access demo student has. Contrary to granting privileges, we can revoke privileges from the database. So this removes those database privileges. So the syntax for this is very similar to granting privileges, except for we change grant to revoke and to to from. So it revoke the privilege on the database the object from the user. If you're a database administrator, you can revoke all privileges and grant option in one statement using revoke all comma grant option from user. However, if you want to revoke both all privileges and then grant option and you don't have database administrator access, you will need to revoke all privileges first and grant option separately, as you can see here. So for example, if we wanted to remove the select, insert, update, and delete privileges from Billy Blue on the order table, we would just say revoke select, insert, update, delete on lecture.order from Billy Blue. Additionally, if we wanted to remove all privileges that we granted, we'd have to revoke all privileges separately, so revoke all on lecture.star from Billy Blue, and then we'd have to revoke grant option separately as well, and then we say revoke grant option on lecture.star from Billy Blue. If you had DBA access, you could revoke all privileges using one command saying revoke all grant option from Billy Blue.
Now, one thing to take into account is that when you are revoking privileges and you revoke all privileges, it doesn't revoke separate privileges that you have created. So for example, if I were to remove all privileges in the second statement we see on this slide, it wouldn't remove the privileges that we see in the first query of this slide. Okay, so here we are back at the server. I'm gonna go ahead and just run this first query that revokes all the privileges from Billy Blue on the lecture schema, and we can see that it's successfully executed. If we come back to our MySQL workbench and refresh the page, we see an error saying that tables could not be fetched because we no longer have access to that. So now I'm gonna remove grant option and refresh this, and it shows that the tables are there and we have access to just the order table from our first grant that we gave. So let's go ahead and revoke this last grant. And if I come back here and refresh, we see that all privileges are now completely gone for Billy Blue. So what I want you to do is give Blues the following access to the lecture schema. In the customer table, grant the select, insert, and update privileges. On the order table, grant all privileges, and then write the queries that would then remove all database access you just granted. Now you will not be able to execute these queries because you do not have the privileges to do so. However, just write them and then come back to compare your answers. All right, so here we are back at the server. I've gone ahead and copied these questions and commented them out. So for this first one, we're going to grant to Blue the option to select, insert, and update on the lecture schema dot the customer table to Blues. I'll go ahead and run this and it successfully granted those privileges. The next query is to grant all privileges on the order table. So I'm gonna say grant all on lecture.order to blues. Additionally, we want to give the ability for blues to extend these privileges to others. So we're gonna say with grant option at the end. So I'll go ahead and run this query and it says it successfully granted those privileges. All right, this next query asks us to remove all database access that was just granted. So we're going to basically copy these queries and then write the inverse using revoke. So for this first one, I'm gonna revoke all privileges on lecture.order from blues. Now, since this had grant option as well, I'll need to write two separate queries. So I'm gonna revoke all, and I'm gonna revoke grant option on lecture.order from blues. And for this last one, I'm gonna revoke select insert update on lecture.customer from blues. So let's go ahead and run this first query. Let's go ahead and revoke grant option now. And then finally, let's go ahead and revoke select insert update. So all of these queries successfully executed.